Greetings! In today's class, we are going to be exploring the world of debating. Debating is when you argue for or against a topic. You have to prove why your team is right and the opposition is wrong. A topic might be something simple like cats are better pets than dogs or students should get more holidays. Let's begin with the setup of a formal debate. Two teams of three people sit at the front of the room. On one side is the affirmative team and on the other side is the negative team. The first speaker of the affirmative team is the first person to speak. The timekeeper starts the stopwatch when the speaker begins. The first speaker defines the keywords of the topic, introduces the team's argument, and begins the debate. Different debates have different time limits. For example, if each speaker has to speak for four minutes, the timekeeper will ring the bell once at three minutes as a warning, and twice at four minutes to indicate to the speaker their time is up. The second person to speak is the first speaker from the negative team. Like the affirmative side, they define the key words and introduce their team's argument. This person also rebuts points made by the first speaker of the affirmative team. Rebuttal is when you choose a point made by the opposition and explain why they're wrong and prove why you're right. Rebuttals can win or lose debates. However, you must never become personal in rebuttals. After the first speaker of the negative side, the second speaker of the affirmative side speaks, followed by the second speaker of the negative side. Both of these speakers continue their team's arguments and rebut the opposition. The third speakers of each team are the last people to speak. First it's the third speaker of the affirmative team and then the third speaker of the negative team. Both of these speakers rebut the opposition's debate and summarises their own team's argument. The third speaker of the negative team is the last person to address the audience in the debate and have the last word. This can be an advantage in debating. At the end of the debate, an adjudicator or team of adjudicators will decide which team is the winner. They consider your presentation skills, the timing of your debate, and it's the team with the most convincing argument that wins the debate. The captain of the winning side thanks the opposition for a good debate, as well as the adjudicator, timekeeper, chairperson, and audience. The captain of the defeated side also thanks the same people. Debating teaches you to look at both sides of an argument. Sometimes you may not agree with the side of the debate you are arguing, and this can be challenging. But it can be a good experience to look at a topic with a different point of view. It also teaches you teamwork. Each member of the team needs to know what their teammates are talking about. Planning and writing the debates are done together. Now let's watch the first speakers of a debate present their argument. The topic is that computers should replace teachers. Thank <laughs> you.